Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Calling Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we are going to head north, north, to the uh, Pokeball Factory. Uh, but before we do that, we should discuss Miss Ashworth, whose uh, presence on the team largely it was due to me thinking it was going to be a steel bug, but ended up just being a regular bug not regular though i mean look at this pokemon it is definitely so i couldn't have even remembered this pokemon excelgore totally fell out of my brain so very excited to have it on the team um we brought it on of course to try and assist us taking down the fairy type gym in the end however it was mighty fatterhorn who did a majority of the fighting um as is somewhat seeming to be come the custom in the gyms fatterhorn able to just like take so many blows dish out so much damage so good don't know where we would be without our mighty fatterhorn um but anyway in order to bring on Ashworth, we boxed Luca Xander, the Aurorus Amora, one of those. Um, and naturally, whenever there's a new team member on, uh, can, it can shake things up a bit. It can shake things up a bit. Um, so interestingly, Xylia, most welcoming of Miss Ashworth. I think because uh, Xylia sees, it was like, it was... So for Xylia, you'll recall, we brought on her largely because we needed a water type Pokemon because Axe had died. So when she arrived on the team, it was sort of in the wake of this terrible tragedy. And we already had an ice type Pokemon on the team. So I don't think she ever felt like, like, wow, not only am I not this, this Axe frog character everyone seemed to love so much, but I'm not even, I can't even fully serve my purpose. So I don't think Xyla had any problems with Lucasander or anything, but I think the, um, the bringing on of Ashworth was like messaging to her that, oh my gosh, this is like, they, like real confidence in me, like my time to shine sort of thing. So very welcoming, not, not resentful, not, not disliking of Lucasander, just like, <gasps> You know, that feeling, that excitement. So, that's been good. Goiren, mm, cautiously optimistic, I'm going to say, is the nicest way to put it. Goiren seems to be a little, like, we brought on Ashworth, and then she didn't end up doing a ton of fighting in the gym. Um, not to mention, Ashworth, as we already mentioned, while obviously really cool design, uh, definitely also sort of an intimidating pose, it has to be said, for sure. I totally just clicked off of it and not only that ashworth is um bug type which is effective against uh psychic types so there's a little bit of like just mm, i don't know about you I'm, I'm i'm holding out i'm holding out but you know goyrin as the as the present team leader despite the level and i have to say that even though goyrin has fallen to what third like fourth on the level tier here tied with xylia there Everyone still pretty much agrees, yes, Goyrin is uh, the, 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 the leader of the team, especially Chloeo, who noticed immediately that Goyrin uh, was uh, not as like, yes, absolutely, welcome to, welcome aboard, soldier, for Ashworth. And Chloeo, of course, is uh, super effective against bug types. And yeah, she's, I don't know, it could be said a little... Uh, she's become, I think, very close with Goyrin. They're both sort of the cats. They've been here the longest at this point. Uh, and she's uh, she, she's pretty fierce about it. So uh, she's, uh, she's very proud. We've always known that. And I think as such, she's giving very much the ironically cold shoulder to Ashworth upon entry. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how Ashworth proves herself moving forward. Everyone loves Fatterhorn. Fatterhorn seems indifferent towards Ashworth at this point. And Ju I mean, the thing is, we haven't seen a ton of like Ashworth's personality yet, you know? So this is really just everyone's reaction to Ashworth rather than um, what Ashworth seems to think of everyone else juge optimistic uh, i think mo largely because for so long he was unmotivated and has risen to the strongest member of the team and now uh, i think wants to give another 
another poke that chance before we just dis disregard Ashworth. But anyway, that's where we're at. Here we go. Mm-hmm. A Gengarite. Oh, if we could get a Ghastly. If we could get a Ghastly. If only. If only it were possible. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right, let me see. Do I have someone who's like has like a really good relationship with us? Let's throw Goyrin out front here. See if that gives me a free item from this dude. Hello, fan club man. Oh. You'll have to work a little harder. What? What? All right. I don't know if I trust this guy's judgment. Work a little harder. As if anyone else does. Well, you guys can let me know if that's a particularly good item I'm missing out on. I don't really care. Let's see. I think we're going up here to the Pokeball Factory. New area, so we can catch something uh, new. Hey, there's some friends of ours, quote-unquote. And look, Team Flare. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Adults are talking in tired. Shoo, 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 shoo. You can't shoo me. You can't shoo me. Look, a maze. Doo, 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 doo. Nice little hedge maze here. Can we get... There's got to be items in here, because what would be the point? A max ether. Okay. And that's a thing. Man. The question is, should we be leading with... Um... Excel Gore right now. On the one hand, Team Flare often has fire types, but they also have dark types, so we're bad to fire, good to dark. I bet we come across some Hound Doors, because they're both... Um, we've come up against a few Scrafties for, uh, what else do they have? Like the Mighty Ennas, stuff like that. It seems doable for certain Pokemon. Plus, we, I want, oh, at the very least, we should, we should see if we can get more training. Sometimes the, the opposing teams will have, like, poison types too, so that would be good for Goyrin. I want to get Goyrin some fights in today. I feel like she hasn't had a good chance to flex her muscles here recently. Alright, where's, like, there's, like, a secret entrance off to the side here, right, somewhere? Ooh, ooh, look at this. What's back here? Oh! Hidden! The Dusk Ball! Lovely! I feel like there is a second door somewhere because that guy's not letting me through. Mm hmm. Scram, can't shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the guards are effective and they're like, no, I'm not going to fight you. I'm just going to not let you in. But other times, they're really stupid. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing the way in. Um, let me go talk to these bozos. Huh. <laughs> He'll let us in. You'll see. I'll go talk to him again. All right. There we go. Now it's on. All right. Oh, hi. Wine gums. How goes it? Did Shawnee and Trev go running off just now? What's the deal? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. That didn't seem like it went well. Cool. The door's unguarded. Hmm? Huh? I guess I'll go help them. All right, see y'all. Good luck with that, being chased by that old dude. I'm going inside. Free Pokeballs, am I right? Woo! Probably a Master Ball. This is where they make the stuff. <gasps> what do you want? Can't that dude outside even handle guard duty? I guess not. So sorry, but we're not offering tours right now. You don't work here. With a red suit like that, you must be a member of Team Flare, right? Did you have to take a part-time job at the Pokeball Factory to pay for that ugly suit? Oh, burn! Oh, <laughs> that was pretty funny. I'll take care of this. You go on ahead. All right, thanks, Wine Gums. I have things to do, like collecting free Pokeballs. Also, this guy looks like he wants to fight, too, so I'll fight him. I'm a nameless Team Flare grunt. I have yet to make a name for myself. Yeah, but, like, you're a named human, right? Dogs are croak. Oh, this looks like a Goyrin fight all day. All day. Oh, I thought I put Excel Gore up front. Uh, I did not. Anyway, happy accident. Here we go. Die. Extra sensory. One shot, one kill. Yeah, pff, that was easy. <laughs> like, like Goyrin was going to have something 
trouble with a, a fighting poison type. <laughs> oh boy. What do you get, Gorman? Level 36. Show him who's boss. <coughs> Baboom. I'm a nameless grunt. The other, I guess we could also put Xylia out front. Uh, let her prove herself indeed. Let's move. I just noticed the mouse. Ha! I hope that wasn't driving. Any. Oh, look, you're still in the way. Convenient. Y'all are still fighting? We're done. Um, doodle loop. Okay. Let's let's throw Ashworth. You front. There we are. There we are. You loot. You loot. Right in a conveyor belt. Right in a conveyor belt. Right in a conveyor grunt. When I beat you, tears will fall from your eyes like Pokeballs rolling down a conveyor. I don't. Uh. Okay. Good, good one. You scared me. All right. Oh, look, this is working out. We are getting good guesses here. Struggle bug. Let's see it. Could dead. Oh, yeah. It's super effective. Special attack fell. Assurance. Not afraid. It didn't do a lot of damage, though. Let's not lie about that. Uh, we're still going to struggle bug this thing to death. The struggle bug is real. The struggle bug is real. Well done, Ashworth. Oh, gold bat though. Yeah, we're switching away from that. We're not, we don't need any part of that. Let's go to Xylee here. Don't need any part of those acrobatics that these things are so famous for. No siree, Bob. Air cutter, or that. We definitely don't need a party part of that either. <laughs> but Xylee just laughs it off. <laughs> And then says, Ice Beam. Oh, I forgot we gave Xylee a Thunderbolt. That's cool. Of course, in this situation, definitely still better to just Ice Beam it. Yeah, yeah, dead. See ya. Ba boom. <coughs> Xylee up to 36. Astro up to 35. Look at that. We've had two fights in three levels. This is amazing. Well done, team. Although, ironically, the three levels all kept Ashworth exactly where she was at the bottom of the... <laughs> yeah, look at that, 35. These are the other two that leveled up. It's funny. Anyway, not really. Let's go ahead and heal you up. All right. Yay, Ashworth. You're getting that kill. Prove yourself to the team. Since apparently... Uh, Boy, I gotta tell you, they do such a good job sometimes at the gyms of, like, preparing for exactly what... They, like, know how you're gonna try and handle the situation. And then it's like, oh, right, but poison doesn't work against steel, so... Yeah, okay, whoops, there's nothing even over here. Why is this a stop? Okay, whatever. Do, 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 do. Ah, okay. This is a poorly placed bridge. Seems like bad design. Hey, you want to fight? Don't worry. Be happy. Seems like a weird thing for you to be quoting, but okay. Scraggles! Mm-hmm. Let's see. I guess Ashworth might be pretty good at this. Might be good on the fight here. Let's find out, shall we? Struggle bug! Should be super effective anyway. Mmm. -hmm. Didn't do as much as I was hoping. Oh boy, uh oh. That was a bunch. That was a bunch. Well, we're not gonna send in Goyrin because that's dark and you got the normal type, you got the juice, the fatter horn. Oh boy, fighting types still not always the best for our team. They still provide a significant threat. Hmm. Chip away. You wish. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But how about Bulldoze? Okay, I'm not sure Bulldoze was the best move here. Yeah, that was dumb. Speed fell, but who cares? <laughs> Look, our speed fell too. That's funny. Will it have made up the difference with the harsh fall? Seed bomb. Let's see a juge. This is good, though. We're getting Xylea some experience with Ashworth, getting Juge some experience with Ashworth, a little cover in the bases there. 
Mighty Anna. Ah, see? Now we could have done it. The thing is, it seems like Ashworth is... Um, I think once we level her up some, it's going to be quite good. Uh, but at the moment, it would appear, I think she's still just like a few levels behind. And as a result, um, we are... And that like, she's like a glass cannon that isn't a very strong cannon yet. She se like, seems like she can't take many hits, but she can uh, probably dole out some heavy damage. All right, you got this, Juge. Stay focused. It's easy for Ju Juge to just focus on this. Your name is the same backwards as it is forward. So it's not that confusing. Ah, no. Oh, no. A swagger. A swagger. He's going down, man. Come on, Juge, you got this. Boom. Dead. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, I don't know if he needed to fall down like that, but, you know, I'm not complaining or anything. So, yeah, you want to fall down or fall down? Your prerogative. Did take some damn odds, though. All right. Maybe I should have bought a few more hyper potions before. Oh. Before coming in here. Don't need to be. Playing with a half deck full of cards here. Alright, let's go back here. Grab this, probably other Pokeball. A timer ball. I like that all the things you pick up here are Pokeballs. That's kind of clever. And then we head up. Head up stairs. Do, 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 do. No, 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 no. But you, ball, ball, pokeball, ball, ball, ultra ball, kill a rat, bro. Team Flagrunt, Swalot. I think you're on the wrong team, though. You wanted Team Skull over in Alola. They don't have as cool uniforms as you guys, I guess you could say. I guess you could say. Um, let's see, do we need to, we can't poison this thing, and I don't think we're going to be able to bug buzz it down, so we should probably just switch, especially since we have Mighty Goyer in here, who can just, uh, extra sensory this thing into the next life. Oh, you know what we should also do is see if, um, anyone can learn Dazzling Gleam from the gym, I didn't even check on that. Foolish, Jonathan. Foolish. Oh, disarming voice. You could probably learn it, honestly, because you've got a fairy type move already. Extra sensor to go. Mm hmm. Super effective. <gasps> you dead toxic? Mighty Goyrin? You wouldn't. You did. What? What? Well, it's not going to matter. You've only got one Pokemon and it's about to die right now, and then I'm just going to antidote, and then you'll be dead. So, yeah. But Goyrin goes like creepy eyes when she casts uh, extra, extra sensory there, doesn't she? It's like, Bleh. it's like, get out. And then they're dead. So, first of all, antidote. Go ahead and do that. That's done. All right, glad to hear it. Glad to see it. Anything down here? Any more fights? Any more people to rough up? Oh, so this is the exit. What's here? Oh, do you change the direction? Huh. I don't know that it makes much of a difference because we're I think we're just right here at the fight. At I don't know. Oh, maybe we're not quite there yet. Both you and your Pokemon should rest for a while. Oh, well, that's cool. Didn't know that was a thing. I guess we are going to have to. I wonder if these people have free stuff, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we changed the direction of the conveyor belts, so I'm sure that was necessary. And now we can... Wait, did it? Is it the same way it was going? Oh. When I went in the room, apparently someone came and hit the switch again. I see what happened. You go this way now. Oh no! 
Ah, I see. <laughs> they accounted for your dumbness. And then, oh, you were standing guard there. <laughs> Even though I beat you, you're still standing guard. So now we can go in here. Mmm, clever, clever. Oh, boss fight. Come now, work for Team Flare. If you just tell about, we wouldn't have to carry out these Pokeballs by ourselves. Or with a contribution of just five million, you could become a member of Team Flare. It's a no-brainer. What in the world are you Team Flare fools thinking? I never give any group that tries to take all the Pokeballs for itself. Forget it. Quit wasting your time with this person. Oh, wait. It's a different person talking. Oh, well. Ah, what do we have? An intruder. You all want to talk. You, please help me. <laughs> me, oh my, getting old. Uh, I can't even tell. Uh-oh. Boom. Boss fight. Here we go. Maybe I should have prepped a little more. Oh, well. I don't know what else I could have done. Scraggles! We meet again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Struggle bug was only semi-effective against him last time. Hmm. We could try and toxic him. I guess that doesn't make a super huge difference. Let's go for it. Toxic. Yeah. Ha. Ha. You would try to lower my speed, Scraggles. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and just let that toxic build up a turn here before we switch out. Oh, what? I was going to say, what if he brick breaks? It won't matter. <laughs> That's not the kind of thing it breaks. I don't think. That'd be bad. We're going to switch now. We're going to hit up the Jugester. You're going to take three turns worth of poison, and that's going to be a lot for you. All he's using is Scary Face. This is weird. Is her next Pokemon supposed to be, like, really slow? Is that all this guy's doing? Is just setting you up? Seed Bomb? Okay, there's the chip away. I feel like Ashworth might have been okay if all I had to do was keep dodging Scary Face. Oh, there you go. Houndoom! Uh-oh. Yeah, we're going to switch on that note to... Ooh, Zylia. Hit up that Surf. <clears throat> Yeah, Xyla is nice because the water covers like the the ice weakness pretty solidly. And then we're just going to surf and they're going to feel stupid for having ever. Yeah, good luck with that. As long as it burned me. But you didn't. Oh, I was like, what is this pause? It's the Rocky helmet. That's right. Bam. You're dead, Houndoom. Get out. Juge, 41. You're just so powerful. So powerful. What? What? 3,040 for winning. Boy, just a few more wins like that and we could join Team Flair. You didn't have to go all out for a pitiful president like him. So lame. That's just embarrassing for an admin. Still no worries. We're on top of it. This pair of scientists will clean up after you. Let's take him on two versus one. Or, or my friend is here. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Double battle. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I need your help, but whatever. Do you think they have to hold their glasses up that whole time? Like, oh, no, I guess not. There it is. Live hard in Manectrica. All righty then. Ashworth, meow stick, go. All right. So live hard. Probably gonna fake out, but who are they gonna fake out? I'm gonna struggle bug that live hard because I feel like, well, I mean, it's dark, so. Oh, struggle bug hits both of them. Well, this is fantastic news. <laughs> For a second, I was like, why can't I choose Manectric? That's why. But this will lower the special attack of the Manectric too, then, which is fantastic. That's super good. Bite, pretty effective against her. And Taunt, pretty effective against her as well. Yeah, y'all keep fighting her. I like that. 
Oh, disarming voice hits both of them. Well, all right, I like where we're at. Struggle bug. Hit him again. We might be able to knock out. Knock out. <laughs> we might be able to knock out the Lyapard right here. Boom, that one's down. And that Medectrix special attack is now down too. So any electric attacks it has, probably not going to be that good. Ashworth up to level 36. Kaboom. Oh no. Uh-oh. Unless it has Spark, which of course is a physical attack rather than a special attack. So oh, we're just going to switch here because now we can uh, be very methodical about it. And I would go to characters other than Juge, except he's just obviously the right choice. Oh, and Thunderfang. So wow, the special attack drops didn't really do anything for this guy. He's very... Uh, Oh, you had Psychic this whole time, huh? Uh-huh. Bulldoze. Oh, this would hit me Meowstic too, but I don't really care about that, so... Do they have a light screen now? Is that right? Hmm. I didn't see them cast that. You're dead. There we go. Speed fell. And we take an easy victory. And I think that clears out the Pokeball Factory. That's pretty nice. Not too very difficult. No way. Wow, we are lame. Probably. Probability is just probability after all. Absolutes do not exist. All right. 11,000. Boy, picked up a lot of money in those last two fights. Oh my, oh my. So lame. What a shame. We got beat. Enough already. We've already stolen the Pokeballs, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls. Let's call it good and leave. All right. Cool. Cool. It'd be interesting if they like if suddenly you weren't able to purchase those for like a section of the game that would be uh yeah master ball for sure thank you mm -hmm. as a bonus you can have the one you didn't pick as well all right boy i'm glad he does that if you like accidentally misclicked on big nugget there it'd be like oh what did i do Oh, never mind. I got it. <laughs> I don't even know the proper way to use a big nugget. Yeah, I bet you, president of the Pokeball Company, billionaire likely, doesn't know the value of gold. Anyway. All right. Well, that was cool. Thanks. That was a pretty easy fight for the Master Ball. Yeah, uh, being perfectly honest. Anyway, I think that's where we're going to call it an episode right there. Cleared out the uh, Pokeball factory. So next time we're going to head towards the next town, which I believe has the Psychic Gym, where, again, you'd hope Ashworth could do some real damage, but I'm sure they'll have all sorts of weird things in place to counteract exactly him. So we shall see. But I doubt we get to the whole Psychic Gym in the next episode. We're at least going to head there. It's going to be good. Which means we'll definitely be on a new route and catch some new Pokemon for the team. So make sure you leave a comment so that you might get named after one of our lovely Pokemon here. You never know when uh, we might add a new team member or someone might go down. Hopefully not. That would be terrible. But in the meantime, thanks for liking and uh, subscribing to the channel. So you don't miss any future Nuzlocke episodes from us. But until next time, bye!